What is up guys? Welcome to the third installment, uh, the third in the series of reviews. We are going to be pitting Tapu Lele against Tapu Koko. If you didn't see the uh, past two episodes for the Draft League review, definitely check those out. Now because I was a little bit pressed for time, uh, we are going to be using uh, some teams that you've probably never seen before in Draft League format. It's not something from the past, uh, but you guys won't know whose team the these are. Uh, until a little bit later this week, so um, Ethan and I decided to just use them uh, because that's what we have at our disposal I didn't really have time to be looking into past teams and neither did Ethan so that's what we're gonna be doing We're just waiting for Ethan to challenge us. I'm, uh, I'm just sitting here narrating until he actually clicks challenge uh, Really impatiently and you guys are gonna get to see we are actually using Tapu Coco on our end and Ethan is using Tapu Lele. If you don't know Redithan, definitely check him out in the description down below. He will be on for uh, the 7th and 8th episode of the review series, so definitely be looking out for that. He's third in line. Two other people decided that they wanted to hop on board with me already for this series, so that's really nice of them. I'm actually just going to pause it, guys, until Ethan decides to challenge me, and we will be right back. Alright, guys, we are back, and we are about to take on... Redithan or Ethan, here we go. Let's see what we can do with this team. I built this really quickly, actually. Uh, we each know each other's six members, so that's a little bit of an advantage to both of us. So let's see how, the, how this goes. Um, he's got a Tapu Lele, which is scary as all hell. And then we have uh, Mega Alakazam on the other side. So this is not looking this is not looking pretty for us. I had to bring a defensive, uh, a Spadef Delphox and a defensive Delmes as well as a defensive Garchomp. So very, very scary right here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lead off with uh, Scizor, because we are Scarfed Scizor, and he leads off with Tapu Lele. Okay, so I built this Scizor to outspeed, max speed Tapu Lele. Uh, let's see if Scizor can get the job done. We do have Iron Head on this set because I cannot hit it with Bullet Punch, of course. Bullet Punch is there for later, for when the Psychic Terrain is gone. I'm actually just going to run a quick calc here to see if Tapu Lele <laughs> goes down, or how much it takes, actually, from a U-turn... Uh, from an adamant scissor, a regular scissor, Tapu Lele with no HP investment, let's say, uh, versus scissor, uh, max attack, adamant technician, not life orb. U turn should be doing at level 100. Let's see. U turn is going to be doing half, and Iron Head should be able to knock this thing out, right? In theory? Yeah, it should. So that's uh, 128. Now, I don't have to risk this because his Tapu Lele could be Scarf Hidden Power Fire as well. Uh, I'm just going to go for the U-turn. He's going to go out into Entei, so that's nice for us. We are going to... He nicknamed this Pokemon. <laughs> wow, he really took the time. Okay, he had a little more time than me, I guess. Uh, he's going to go out into uh, Entei. I'm going to bring out Garchomp, and now we are just going to get up our Stealth Rocks. They are going to help immensely this game as he's going to bring out Vaporeon. That's absolutely fine. I do have a direct uh, answer to this being Delmi's. Uh, Delmize, excuse me, but he can also have Ice Beam, so that's a little bit scary. We do have max HP and leftovers, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, yeah, let's just go into Delmize. Let's see what we can do. He is going to go for the Baton Pass, actually, and he's going to probably pass out, I assume, into uh, Entei. Yep, there it is, and we didn't see leftovers in, on this before. Uh, I'm just going to switch out into Garchomp. It's my dedicated counter to his Entei. We are max HP, max defense. As he goes for the Sacred Fire, let's see if he burns us. That actually did a lot more than I expected. Did I not EV this properly? I don't think I did. No, I did not EV this properly. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't put defense. <laughs> wow. Didn't put defense EVs. Why can't I type? Defense EVs. Uh, I don't think I ever burned with Sacred Fire before. That's hilarious. I'm gonna go for Roar. We are gonna catch the Vaporeon, so we're gonna be able to Roar something else in here right now. And it's gonna be the Salamence, so this is really nice. Uh, I'm just actually gonna go for another Roar right here. We are taking, uh, no damage from the burn, thanks to the new mechanics. He is gonna go for Dragon Claw, and he's gonna knock us out because we don't have any HP investment, unfortunately. And he is gonna get a Moxie boost from that. Now, he doesn't have plus speed, and we do have a Tapu Koko, so I am just going to go directly into it. Uh, I could do one of two things. I can either Nature's Madness, predict, predict, predicting, excuse me, the Excadrill to come in. Delmi's is our dedicated check to Excadrill, so that's not too bad. Entei's looking like more and more of a threat, however. Uh, I think I am just going to go for Nature's Madness, as he is going to bring out Tapu Lele, actually. That's cool. He's going to eliminate the Electric Surge, and it is going to take half right there. I'm still not sure if this thing is Scarfed. But I'm pretty sure that it goes down to uh, an electric uh, Thunderbolt from here, if I'm not mistaken, from Tapu Koko. 
We are, I should have imported the set. We are Zap Plate, uh, and we do have level 100. We're modest, because I didn't need Timid. That's the good thing about Tapu Koko this, uh, with uh, this spread. Uh, in the electric terrain, normally it would take 70. It takes 49 to 58, so I can afford going for a Thunderbolt right here, as he is defensive, actually, uh, and is able to knock us out. Wow, okay. Um, well, I mean, his Tapu uh, Lele is essentially gone now. It's only got one more switch in at this point. Uh, I'm going to go into Scizor, and uh, we're just going to click a U-turn again right here. And we are going to knock out the Tapu Lele. This is great. The Psychic Terrain is going to be eventually gone, so that's awesome. And I think now I'm just going to head out into Delphox at this point, because Delphox has the, ba the best matchup against the majority of his team. If he wants to go into Excadrill, uh, he actually goes into Alakazam. That's interesting. All right. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? Uh, Scizor can't outspeed. I'm actually going to go for a Toxic right here. If he goes for a Shadow Ball, we should be able to take two of these. Uh, he's going to chase my Blaze. He's going to go for Psychic, actually. That's going to do absolutely nothing to us. And he's going to get poisoned as a result. And now I'm going to go for the Wish. And, uh, I, like I said, I had to bring this specially defensive Delphox, uh, specifically for Mega Alakazam and for his, um, his Tapu Lele. So now the Alakazam is, of course, poisoned. Uh, I can predict this thing to switch out into his Excadrill uh, and go out into Delmi's if I want to. I'm just afraid of the Shadow Ball, that's all. That's really all I'm afraid of right now. Um, hmm. I don't have my check to Entei anymore either, so if Delmi's goes down, then his Excadrill is a real problem. Uh, I do have a an answer to Vaporeon. It's Taunt Sub Mega Gyarados, so he can't roar me out. So that's always nice. Uh, I'm just going to go in hard into Scizor here. We do catch the Excadrill, so that's very nice. And now we're going to... He is Balloon. Okay, so he's probably going to go for a Rapid Spin right here, I would expect. Uh, we're going to go for the U-Turn. We should be faster than this, of course. I probably should have just Super Powered there, but I didn't want to, uh, to give away too much. As he is going to go for his own Stealth Rocks, actually. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm going to go for an Anchor Shot right here as he's going to go for Shadow Claw, and that's not going to do too much because we are fully defensive. His Excadrill is going to be trapped in here, and uh, now what we can do is uh, probably just go for the Rapid Spin. I need these rocks out of here, so I'm going to do that. As he's going to go for another Shadow Claw, that's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't expect him to have too much for Mega Gyarados, except maybe a Rock Slide, but even at that, at minus one, if he's not fully invested, won't be doing too much. So we can afford to probably just go into Gera, honestly. Um... I don't expect him to spin here. I'm not too scared of this driller anymore, though, because he's not uh, he's not a scarf set, so he doesn't threaten me too too much. Um, I do want to keep this though because it does check Vaporeon still. So let's go into Gera. Let's see if he spins. We shall see right here. He goes for Stealth Rocks again. Okay, so good play on Ethan's part. Uh, I'm actually going to go for the Dragon Dance right here. As he decides to go straight on to Alakazam to Encore me, I guess. Uh, which is fine. I'm actually just going to Dragon Dance uh, again because I'm not faster than this thing yet. Uh, and if he Encores me in, he's just taking additional damage from the uh, from the poison. I could also go into Scizor and just fire off a Bullet Punch at this point with his Excadrill so low. Um, do I want to keep this? I could. Yeah, I'm just going to go for another DD here. He does Encore me in. That's fine. Uh, I am just going to stay in right here. Uh, I could Mega Evolve at any second, so he has to be very careful about which move he clicks. Uh, if he clicks Focus Blast while I'm in regular, it's not going to do much to me, and eventually this Encore is going to end. Uh, I could also just switch into Delphox and let this thing kill itself through, uh, through Toxic. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. If he's just Encore, we're not too bad. The thing is, I don't want to... I'm really greedy right now. I don't want to switch out while the rocks are up. Because I don't think I'm going to get another opportunity to spin. Except on Vaporeon, which I can't see coming in at any, any given time right now. But I also can't lose this or else I just lose to Vaporeon. <laughs> straight up. So... Well, I do have Toxic. Unless it's Heal Bell. That's the only way. Um... He only seems to have Psychic on this. I could go into Delphox and Protect. Or go for the Wish. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's go into Delphox. Alright. Uh, he does just choose to go for the Shadow Ball, so great play on his part. 
Uh, he's going to take additional damage right there. I'm going to go for the Protect. Uh, that way we'll be a double down on the following turn. He does go for the Psychic. And then we will go for the Wish, just in case he decides to switch out for whatever reason. He is going to go for the Shadow Ball, so Alakazam is no more. Uh, and Scizor is probably my best play because my rocks are up for Entei, so I'm not too concerned about it. We do get to U-turn on the Vaporeon, Bullet Punch onto the, uh, the Salamence, so this is always nice. Uh, I assume he's just going to go for the Scald right here. That would be probably his best play. Uh, let's just go for the U-turn. He's going to go for Protect. That's fine. We get to go for U-turn anyway. And uh, if he brings in Entei, it should go down to the U-turn. It's a very strong U-turn regardless. Uh, he's going to take 31 from that, and I'm going to head out into Delmise right here. Delmise, I keep saying it wrong. And he's going to go for a Baton Pass, so great play on Ethan's part once again. Uh, knowing that I would have to switch out into something. So, I think Gera still wins this game. It really depends, though, on what his, uh, on what his coverage is. Uh, I'm going to attempt to go for the Rapid Spin right here. He should just knock me out in theory. Let's see. He does go for the Dragon Claw and knocks me out. That's fine. He gets the Moxie Boost. I'm assuming he's Scarfed, is what I'm thinking. So I'm going to go into Scizor now. He might think that I don't have Bullet Punch, but I do. So let's go for that. No, he predicts it and he goes out into Vaporeon. We still do 13% to it, though, which is really nice. Uh, he does have Baton Pass Protect if he's Wish. All right. I'm going to go out into Gyarados right away. Right now. As he goes for the Baton Pass. Wow, okay. Well, he leaves himself in bullet punch range, which is nice. Let's see what he goes out into. He's going to go out into Salamence again, okay. Um, do I have to double into Scizor here and keep this thing alive? I think I do. Either that or... Huh. Because I won't be faster than this if it's Scarfed, if I Dragon Dance. That's the problem that I'm faced with. And it puts me in range of E-Speed, which I really, really don't like. Um, yeah, I do have to double to Scizor here. If he Fire Blasts, he Fire Blasts, he makes a good play. He goes for the Outrage. That is not going to be able to take us out at all. And we are just going to knock this thing out now with a Bullet Punch. Able to easily take care of it right there. Uh, Vaporeon has a chance to go down to a Bullet Punch. Uh, his Driller actually comes in. Okay. Um, I'm going to attempt to win with Gyarados anyway. So let's go for it. Let's go for the Bullet Punch right here. As he goes for the Rapid Spin, gets rid of the Rocks. Very good play. Let's go for another bullet. Uh, that's going to make Entei extremely difficult to deal with. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. He lets his Driller take another hit. He goes for the Shadow Claw, and that is not able to knock me out. That's actually really unfortunate. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I really wanted that to take me out. Because I didn't want to... Uh, I didn't want to give him the E-Speed Sweep. That really sucks. Yeah. I wanted you to knock me out. He goes into Vaporeon, which is curious. I'm going to go into Gyarados, as he's going to go for the Wish. Okay, great. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to taunt this thing and prevent it from going for anything else. He goes for Scald. Uh, does he burn me? No, he does not. Okay, so what we're going to do, he did 14% to us. We are going to go for a uh, Substitute right here. Let's see if this works out. We do gain a bunch of spidef, so he shouldn't be able to uh, two-shot my sub. So we're going to go for Dragon Dance. Let's see if we do it. He's going to go for the Scald uh, once again. And now we have to go for the Crunch. We don't have a choice. As he's going to take 57% from that, we are going to get the defense drop, but his next Scald is going to be able to break our sub, and he should have E-Speed on the Entei. So that is going to be GG. I mean, if he has the E-Speed. If he doesn't, then I don't know. <laughs> Let's go for another Crunch. He does have the E-Speed. And uh, that is going to wrap it up. So uh, Ethan is a phenomenal player. Uh, as you can see right there, he brought some really interesting sets. I like the Encore at Mega Alakazam. That was really good. Uh, I should have EV'd my Garchomp. My Garchomp only had HP. <laughs> Uh, but that's gonna wrap it up guys if you did enjoy and if you are looking forward to more of these be sure to check out the next episode of reviews We are doing Tapu Bulu followed by Tapu Fini and we will be facing them off against each other Obviously one is skewed more than the other grass versus water uh, But we are gonna be pairing it up of course with teams that work and synergize well 
uh, with the respective Pokemon. Uh, and on the next ser on the next series of three episodes, we are going to have Count Riario on. So if you're looking forward to that, of, of course, once again, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Redithin in the description down below, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!